The much-awaited company's Will 2012, which aims at protecting the interest of employees and small investors, was passed by the Rajya Sabha. The legislation will now replace the existing Companies Act 1956, which was enacted 56 years ago. Besides making independent directors more accountable and improving the corporate governance practices, the bill has been rewritten extensively with several new provisions for investor protection and corporate social responsibility, etc. The core focus of this bill is to enhance transparency, to give good corporate governance, to ensure regulation that is complied with. And I am one of those people, sir, that believes that we rather have less regulation but 100% compliance. There is no point in having 1,000 regulations, and companies are only meeting half of those. So fewer, less regulations, but important ones, and then we must be very, very severe on non-compliance of those regulations. We are trying to make the system more transparent. We are encouraging self-reporting. We are encouraging more disclosures. We are looking at. E-governance within the corporate governance. The proposed legislation would ensure setting up of special codes for speedy trial and stronger steps for transparent corporate governance practices and curb corporate misdoings. It also defines a number of new terms that have come into vogue in recent times. The new law would also require companies that meet certain set of criteria to spend at least two percent of their average profits in the last three years towards corporate social responsibility activities. We do not want to create an inspector raj. We don't want to have. No objection certificates from the government. I think we should allow the corporate sector to come forward and work. And in time, we'll see in next year or two how things evolve. At that point, we can revisit the issue if may be required. The bill also provides for prohibition on forward dealings and securities of companies by key managerial personnel, insider trading rules, and restriction on non-cash transactions involving directors. The amended legislation also limits the number of companies an auditor can serve to 20, besides bringing more clarity on criminal liability of auditors. The roles and responsibilities of directors, independent directors, and auditors have also been dealt with in great detail. Business Desk, DD News.